Now this young man here has alleged that his wife was having an affair with the pastor, this pastor here. He allegedly hired a PI who caught his wife indeed coming from a hotel with the pastor. But just aesthetically, when you look at the pastor versus her husband, her husband aesthetically is a lot more pleasing, more good looking. Not only that, McCarter lost everything a few years back. Closure of one of the most prominent churches in the triad. Well, my response is definitely authentic. Um, it is presently a very unfortunate, unpleasant reality, but it, the good news is it's not final. But one thing I do know that God is going to make a for us. We are people of faith. We are people who believe in the power of prayer, and that's what we're going to stand on. And of course, a few moments later, in Salem Church is getting some more time to move out of their building. A lawyer representing the bank who bought the building in a foreclosure sale says that the Greater Cleveland Avenue Church asked if they could have until 4 p.m. tomorrow to move. So my question is, what would make this woman step out on her husband with this pastor who seemingly has lost everything? What does he have? I see his witchcraft. A similar thing happened to a man I went to church with. His wife left him for a pastor. The same pastor in the AME lawsuit, Charles Robert Jackson. So he's coming down to nothing either. All of his money is finished too. How are they bagging all these wives from their husbands? I see his witchcraft.